hey what is up everybody welcome back to halo's kitchen the best kitchen out there period is chef a as you can see i got one of the longer length videos you know back in action and not just you know my shorts or whatever i'm trying to get more consistent and this one is going to be a little bit different because i included an asmr at the end i tried to take inspiration from the other creators so it's not perfect since it's my first time but i definitely like to do it again so today i'm making some um lemon butter risotto with some lobster mushrooms like sauteed and stuff and these are actually supposed to replicate you know actual lobster meat or whatever and it's actually called lobster mushrooms for the vegan haters that be doing too much but yeah i decided to you know rehydrate them with some nori sheets and um a bay leaf as well and a little bit of old bay seasoning and whatnot and i just let that boil and for like i say about 15 minutes and then i just let it sit or whatever for like 45 minutes extra and then i got to working on you know the shallot cutting or whatever because the shallots are actually going to go inside of the risotto when we start cooking it and i'm also gonna um have a few extra cut just for when i saute the mushrooms later on that you know we were just boiling or whatever so yeah in a pan you want to add some oil i am using this truffle oil it's like truffle infused olive oil you can just use regular olive oil or whatever i just feel like olive oil is a common one to use for risotto and then i added about like two tablespoons of butter i might be getting the measurements wrong because i'm doing that before i put in the um captions or whatever but i'll have all the correct measurements listed on the screen and then i added my shallots in there once you know the butter started to foam up and right here i know for a fact i added one and a half cups of some of this rice i believe it's pronounced r beer some rice i don't know i'll write it on the screen and pretty much it's like an italian style rice and that's you know what's used for risotto specifically so you're not going to be able to use regular rice so make sure you guys have the right one or whatever and you know then i just ended up toasting it right here until it got to like looking like that right there you don't want to cook it up too much and right here i'm adding broth so i use some of the better than bouillon no chicken base or whatever and mix it with some spring water and i just added a cup at a time until all of the water absorbed into the rice and i did this six times specifically so you want to add six cups of either veggie stock or the spring water in the um whatchamacallit that little bouillon that i got on the spoon right there and if you guys wanted to use the bouillon that i use i would just estimate it out to about a tablespoon that i use you know for the flavoring or whatever in general so yeah and then i just you know continue to let that sit and stir or whatever and add the water as necessary so right here i'm about to saute up the mushrooms and i just added a little bit of oil some butter like i said i saved some extra shallots to add in there too this right here is a little bit of garlic powder um i added some old bay seasoning as well and make sure the heat is not too crazy high i got it on like medium heat you can do like medium high it really depends on the stove with these electric stoves i've noticed like it's really tricky getting the right temperature so you really got to be careful but yeah i just ended up sauteing that for about 10 good minutes maybe 10 to 15 or whatever <laughs> um and then i added some fresh lemon juice on there and you know of course you just want to stir as necessary the mushrooms are already cooked so it's not that you know deep as far as like how long you saute it for real just do it until your heart tells you like okay this is done it's not necessary no more in this risotto i added some himalayan salt and some fresh lemon juice to make it you know the lemon butter flavor and y'all like this was so good like i don't even know if the texture is wrong or whatever but regardless it was good to me like i know gordon ramsay is super big on risotto so for all the chefs or whatever that watch and people that are like experts on risotto let me know how i did <laughs> this is like my second time ever making risotto so right here i just added a little bit of extra butter before serving like well not serving but plating and serving um and i added some chives as well to the lobster mushroom mix and right here i'm just plating everything up and i'm getting prepared for this asmr i'm excited for y'all to see and give me a little bit of feedback <laughs> i try my best not to do my smacking or whatever I, I chew with my mouth closed for the most part so yeah i just you know added the risotto on the bottom of the plate and obviously i'm adding the lobster mushrooms on top and 
only thing that i wish would have like stayed the same was the brighter orange reddish color that lobster tends to have like yeah but y'all let me know if it still reminds y'all of like lobster though just from like the appearance or whatever you can say no if it don't but it definitely gives me that familiarity it's not a hundred percent there but i could see why they named it a lobster mushroom and i just you know garnish it with more chives and slices of lemon so yeah here is my little asmr right here i hope you guys enjoy <laughs>